Hey guys, what's up? It's your good buddy Sam, and it's time for another awesome, incredible Max MSP tutorial. Uh, well, not strictly speaking, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So, uh, sorry it's been so long since last time I made a video. Uh, I've just been so caught up. Uh, I saw this movie called No Strings Attached, and it was just, it was amazing. It, it, the finest piece of cinema I think I've seen in a long, long time. Um, you know what it is? It's just so... I don't know, it's just so great to see Ashton Kutcher really mature as an actor, you know? He's just, he's come such a long way, and really, I mean, he's up there with, you know, with the best of the best. Um, uh, Brandon, uh, Simpson, all the good ones, all the good ones. Um, so anyway, uh, so here's what I wanted to do. So the other, see, the last few videos, it really, I was really talking about something that I knew a lot about, and we had a very... Uh, master student teacher thing kind of going on but now someone um, wrote me and asked me to make a TB303 emulator and in case you don't know what a TB303 is the TB303 stands for um, Tremendous Bass 303 uh, it's the synthesizer that Roland made in sort of the early 80s and it's tremendously badass uh, it's basically responsible for house music existing um, and if you hear the sound you'll know immediately what I'm talking about uh, so I, I made one quickly uh, and this is just me goofing around with that in live so here's kind of what it sounds like this is what the finished product will sound like when we're done uh, just so you know what we're working towards Wait, no, we can lead him better than that. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. So that's like, um, no, that bass sound. And basically the defining feature of this entire genre of music is the ability to get like is the ability to get a loop going like that and then you have to have a whole bunch of knobs to turn. That's the entire genre. Have a cool loop and turn lots of knobs and smoke a cigarette and look really cool while people dance to your music and girls contemplate whether or not they're going to fuck you later and ask you if they can show you what they look like naked. There are knobs. So you get the idea. That's, that's what we're going for. There's the TB303 in all its awesomeness, and we're going to try to do that. So, like I said in the past videos, it was all, I know stuff and you don't, here's how you do it. Um, here I think it's going to be much more like, let's build it together, because I kind of don't know what I'm doing. And uh, if you see something that makes you upset, you know, tell me and we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it together. You know, this is, our, this is going to be like, it's going to be like The View meets electronic music, you know? That's what I'm going for right here. Um, which would be a cool show, I'd watch that. I'd watch that a lot. Anyway, so um, whenever I get started on a big sort of project, how are we doing on time? Uh, okay, anytime I get started on a big project like this, a uh, big-ish project like this, the first thing that's really helpful for me is to get like a sketch out the whole thing and figure out what pieces I'm going to need. Uh, especially because, especially with Max, um, if you s just build the whole thing and then it doesn't work, it can be, re they build a lot of cool debugging tools into Max 5, but it's still really hard to figure out what the hell's wrong with your patch. So let's just start, um, what I've got already gone ahead and done here, this is really sort of outside the realm of this tutorial, but just, I've loaded up a little MIDI sequence here. I want our TB303 to be played uh, through MIDI so that we could put it into Ableton and play it there or just play it with MIDI. It just makes it a lot more uh, versatile. So anyway, this is just a quick MIDI sequence and it just sounds like this. Uh, now it's a stuck note, but no one cares. All right, so that's what the, and this is just MIDI notes, uh, seek, loaded the MIDI file, going through MIDI parse, and going to go, no, no one cares, simple stuff. Anyway, so um, to get started, we're just going to make a skeleton of our TB303 out of comment boxes and fill it in. I think that's the way to go. So we start with MIDI in, up top, and at the bottom, we've got sound out, right? Simple enough. Um, and now we'll just fill in all the pieces in the middle. So the way the TB303 works is there are really three basic parts. 
Um, this is abstracting away all the actual physical stuff, you know, the keys and how you program it and all that stuff, because I frankly, I really don't care. And I've seen videos of programming the TB303 and it sucks. It's a stupid, tedious, pointless, backwards, badly engineered. I, I said it, I said it. I mean, do what you want. I don't like it. I think it's not well put together. Um, in terms of the interface, it sounds cool. Uh, anyway, so we're going to just forget about that and just try to get the sound. And the sound component basically has three parts. You've got the sound generator part that makes a sawtooth wave or a square wave. Uh, you've got the filter and you've got the envelope generator and that's it. So we're going to go ahead and fill those parts in. We've got our sawtooth slash square wave. Uh, I wrote rect because the max object is called rect. Um, the envelope and the filter. And I'm going to put filter below because filter comes naturally after you've generated the sound and because the envelope is controlled by the filter. So now what is the MIDI controlling? Well the MIDI is controlling which notes get played um, but also the characteristics of the TB303 um, one of them is that you can apply to each note one of four um, styles, I guess, one of four traits, uh, which you can either, you can have an accent, so you accent the note, make it punchier. You have an up, so the note has a trail up, so it goes like, Bleep. or you could have a trail down, so it goes like, Bleep. or you could have a legato, so that when you play one note and then play the next note, uh, there's a transition from, you get a frequency sweep from one to the other. So you heard that before, that's what this, you hear that here. <laughs> When it goes, that's the frequency sweep. Um, so we want to figure out how we're going to play each of those. And what I think is a sim nice, simple way to do it uh, is when you have one note and the next note comes before the first note has finished playing, before you get the note off for the first note, you get a legato from one to the other. A lot of... Um, a lot of sequencers do it that way, and I like that. That makes sense. So we're going to do that. Um, and so I'm just going to write it here. Uh, should we legato? So what I mean by that is we're going to need a bit of max whatever architecture here to figure out whether or not we uh, legato from one note to the next. And I'm writing frequency picker here because that's going to feed into the frequency picker that then controls the saw. So MIDI comes in. Um, in addition to picking the frequency, we also want to figure out if we legato and feed that all into the saw slash rectangle wave generator. On um, the envelope side of things, MIDI comes in. We need to figure out... Um, so when MIDI comes in, we get note, note ons and note offs. And with a note on, we always want to trigger the envelope. With a note off, we only want to stop the note uh, because this is a mono synth, we only want to stop the note if the currently playing note matches the note off that we got. So we need some logic to do that, so I'll just put in should we note off above our envelope. And let's see, it looks pretty good. Um, So after we get the envelope, another and as for the the um, up and down traits that you could throw onto your notes, uh, for now we're going to ignore that. Let's just move on with our lives, and we'll come back to that later. Um, so uh, the other thing about the uh, TB three hundred three is that there's some envelope modulation, and what that is is that the uh, envelope of the sound can affect the filter. So what we need to do is have one other little piece of logic here. So um, how much or how does envelope affect filter? It is amazingly difficult to both plan this out and talk about it at the same time. I completely underestimated how hard this is. I, my small ape brain is having a really hard time with this. All right, so MIDI in. Should we legato? Frequency picker, sawtooth feeds into the filter. Uh, the envelope also feeds into the filter, and we decide in what way here. Uh, and up here, we also need a little piece to decide if we know it off. And finally, we multiply uh, envelope multiply the filter by the envelope, and what comes out is the sound. 
Um, and that's it. That's the entire TB303 right there. And now we're just going to build these little pieces one at a time and put them all together. And we're out of time. So um, <laughs> I don't know if this video is even worth watching, but um, uh, I can say that now because it's over. But um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm, I'll try to do one of these every day or so. And we'll build this little thing up one piece at a time. And in the end, um, it'll work. And if you want... Um, just download the last video and get the patch and skip this entire process. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching if you watched and have a good one guys. Take it easy.